there, this is Caleb Jones, and this is the Alpha Male 2.0 podcast. And if you're watching the video version of this on YouTube or the other alt tech platforms, you can tell that my background has changed. And as of now, this is purposeful. I want different backgrounds for Alpha Male 2.0 content than Sovereign CEO content because the brands are slightly different and the audience is different, although there is a lot of overlap. And by the way, if you didn't know this, I have two podcasts I do every week. I have the Alpha Male 2.0 podcast I do every week, plus I have the Sovereign CEO podcast where we cover things like Five Flags, International Living, moving out of your collapsing Western country, plus setting up your own location and independent business, all the business content, that's over at the Sovereign CEO podcast. So you can subscribe to that also, and that is at calebjones.com slash podcasts. And on that page, I list all the podcast platforms that I'm on. I'm on like all of them. <laughs> I'm on a lot. I'm on at least eight, nine different podcast platforms, plus videos at YouTube and BitChute and Odyssey and all the usual alt tech video platform sites. Today's podcast is on a question that I receive semi-regularly, or at least the topic is brought up, and that is Sigma male. Caleb, what do you think about being a Sigma male? How does Sigma male relate to Alpha male 2.0? Wouldn't you rather be a Sigma male than an Alpha male 2.0? Or some guys will say, I'd rather be a Sigma male than an Alpha male 2.0. Or I'll get questions like, I've had this question more than once, Caleb, why don't you talk about Sigma male? <laughs> why do you just talk about Alpha male 2.0? How come you don't dress like Sigma male and Lambda male and Gamma male and all right. So on this podcast, I'm gonna address all these things. What a Sigma male is. If you've never heard the term Sigma male, then you're in luck. You're lucky. <laughs> this is one of those red pill, you know, alt right, right wing type terms. And so uh, this is why I get a lot of questions about it. And there are specific reasons why I have not discussed it in the past, but uh, I'll go through all that right now. So first, as always, you gotta get our terms straight. What does Sigma male mean? So Sigma male means in the most part, and as usual on the internet for these goddamn internet terms, you will never have 100% complete consensus on exactly what the definition means. So even though I'm gonna give you the definition that I've heard the most often, I'm sure I'm gonna get nitpickers and say, well, that's not exactly what a Sigma male is. That's just the way the internet works. So here in general is what a Sigma male is. Sigma male is an alpha male who doesn't really care about social hierarchies. So instead of being at the center of the room and the center of attention and getting all the accolades and getting all the girls necessarily, he's more into his own accomplishments and he doesn't care about what society thinks about him. He has separated himself from the hierarchy of society. He's more of a lone wolf. He's almost like an introverted version of an alpha male. And that in a gist is what Sigma male is. The term Sigma male was first coined by a guy I know, a guy named Vox Day. I haven't communicated with him in a very, very long time because as I've mentioned before, since the Trump era, Vox Day was one of the casualties. He was one of the people who used to be a libertarian and became a big government nationalist. And so he, he is completely different than the Vox Day that I knew about, you know, I don't know, way back in 2008, 2009. I was actually reading his articles even before then. Uh, when he was a libertarian, he is like many others, like Alex Jones, like Stephen Molyneux. There's a long list of these guys who used to be libertarians and then Trump came along and whammo, suddenly they're big government nationalists. And the things they were saying were almost in many respects, the opposite of what they had been saying all the way up to Trump. So uh, Vox Day is not someone I really follow his content anymore. But back in the day I used to, uh, matter of fact, I used to read Vox Day's articles back on worldnetdaily.com going way back to like the early 2000s. So when Vox Day was a young, young, young guy, and I was a pretty young guy. Uh, he's about my age, I think. But anyway, many years ago, Vox Day said, matter of fact, I read the article when it first came out that he, when he first published this many, many years ago. This is even before the term red pill, I believe. This is, this is quite a while ago. He said, alpha and beta are not sufficient enough to describe the different types of men. There's actually about six or seven different kinds. And uh, to run through them really quick, there is alpha male, yes. Then there is beta male, yes. There's also guys like the omega male. And the omega male is the complete and total awkward loser who can't even communicate with other human beings. And just his presence turns people off. Uh, his example is the stapler guy from the movie Office Space who can't even talk. That'd be the uh, omega male. Then there are gamma males. And these are extreme angry beta males 
who want what alpha males have, but they don't have the ability to get it because they're weak or incompetent. And these would be guys like incels or angry SJWs on the internet, but there are also a lot of angry right wing Trump supporters are in that category too. And then there's, he has Lambda males, who I think are gay guys. And then he has Delta males who are like the average Joe, that kind of guy, but all these different types of males based on the Greek alphabet. And I want to ask you a question. Does what I just described sound a little complicated? Yes. That's why I don't talk about Sigma male and Delta male and Lambda male. And that's why I don't do that. It is hard enough to describe the difference between Alpha male 1.0 and Alpha male 2.0. And I'm here running a business trying to convey these concepts to a wide audience. And so if I said Sigma male, the vast majority of normal people in the world would go, what the hell is a Sigma male, right? Whereas if I say Alpha male 2.0, even if you have no idea what that means, you have an inkling of what that means. Oh, okay, it's a new type of alpha male, right? You see how that's better and more simple? And in my terminology, I just have three types of men. I have what? Beta male, alpha male 1.0, the typical alpha male that most people are familiar with, and alpha male 2.0, the type of man we talk about here. Three categories, relatively simple. Instead of omega male and sigma male and gamma male and lambda male and beta male, and you gotta describe each one, and. That is a perfectly fine system for a niche audience who is really into reading a lot and is very high IQ and loves to delve deep into red pill concepts. That's perfectly fine for that niche audience. But for a wider audience, doesn't brand very well, doesn't read very well. So that's why I haven't discussed Sigma male and crap like that. It's too complicated. Uh, most guys have trouble even understanding alpha male 1.0 versus 2.0, even though I think it's pretty simple. A lot of guys don't even understand the difference between beta male and alpha male. Those are just two categories. There's a lot of people, believe it or not, you might not be aware of this because you're already immersed in this content perhaps, but there's a lot of guys, men, on the internet, in the real world, who don't really know or can't really describe to you the, a, a real big difference between a beta and an alpha, right? So the last thing I wanna do is have all these different categories, these weird names. That's why I haven't talked about it. Now, how does Sigma male compare to alpha male 2.0? How are they, are they the same thing? Is one a version of the other? Are they different but have commonalities? So here's the deal, alpha male 2.0, and I've written entire articles about this at my blog, at alphamale20.com slash blog. Alpha male 2.0 does not mean, and I've said this many times again, just like Caleb. So I am an introvert, okay? But alpha male 2.0 does not mean you have to be an introvert. You can be very into your social world. You can be very into certain types of hierarchies as an alpha male 2.0. Most of them are not because I talk about in alpha male 2.0 content, how you should kind of de-brainwash yourself from societal programming and things like that and not give a shit about society things. So that is true. So that's something in common with alpha male 2.0s and sigma males. But an alpha male 2.0 does not necessarily go out of his way to shun society and be a lone wolf. There are many, and I've given many examples over the years, of extremely high extroverted alpha male 2.0s with huge social circles, with lots of friends, who do things like social circle game and go to parties all the time and hang out with their buddies all the time. That's great. If you are a very extroverted guy and you're really into your social life, that's wonderful, please do that. If that makes you happy, do that because the objective of the alpha male 2.0 is what? Long-term consistent masculine happiness. And if hanging around with your buddies or a large social circle makes you happy, it doesn't make me happy, I'm an introvert. But if it makes you happy, you should do that. Does that make you not alpha male 2.0? No, it does. So the lone wolf aspect applies to sigma, but it does not apply necessarily to alpha male 2.0. Now, to be fair, when you are an internet personality like I am, you tend to attract people who are very similar to you. So a big portion of my audience are men who are kind of like me, who are in the INTJ zone. Maybe you're not exactly an INTJ, but you're in that zone. Maybe you're more an introverted zone. You have a lot of similarities probably to my personality style, which is why you like my content and that's okay. But that is not a requirement, nor should it be, of Alpha Male 2.0. So in that respect, there is a very big difference between alpha male 2.0 and sigma male. Other than that, they're about the same. They are about the same, with some exceptions I'm gonna cover in a second. But they are about the same. If you're a sigma male and you have the two, and this is a big if, you have the two alpha male 2.0 requirements, meaning you are a sigma male who has location independent income, you're making at least $85,000 a year, and that's in US dollars pre-tax, or you're working very diligently toward that goal, and you are having sex with at least two women 
on a semi-regular basis, that's a big if for a lot of people who call themselves Sigma males, okay? Then yes, you are a Sigma male and you're an Alpha male 2.0, you're both, congratulations. It's not like you have to say, I'm not an Alpha male 2.0, I'm a Sigma male. No, they're not mutually exclusive. You could very easily be the same thing, even though again, Alpha male 2.0 does not require you to be a lone wolf or an introvert, make sense? Now, let me get to where some of this stuff gets uh, a little problematic and a little uh, dicey. Men tend to throw out terms to describe themselves that are not accurate. So, for example, there is a guy in right-wing political circles named Jesse Lee Peterson. And he goes around calling people betas. Beta! He says beta all the time, implying that he is an alpha male. However, he doesn't have sex. Are you a real alpha male if you never have sex? And the reason he doesn't have sex is because he's very Christian and very religious, very right-wing, and so sex is wrong unless you're married, and he's not married, so he doesn't have sex. Are you a real, true alpha male if you never have sex? The answer is no. But he goes around calling himself an alpha. Now, I realize there are some very disturbing news about the individual I just named, Jesse Lee Peterson or Lee Jesse Peterson. I'm not going to comment on that. So you can Google that yourself and do some research on that yourself. I'm saying even before this news for many years, when people ask him, well, do you have sex? Oh, no, I don't have sex. He doesn't have sex. Yet he calls himself an alpha male. There are many people who call themselves alpha males who are not alpha males. And there are many guys on the internet who call themselves sigma males who actually aren't sigma males. They're just introverted guys who are pissed off and trying to act cool. I talked about this in great detail where I did a, a deep dive video and a lot of people got very upset with me when I did this video called There Is No Such Thing As Purple Pill. You can go on my YouTube channel and search around and watch that video. And I basically said, there is no such thing as purple pill. There are just blue pill guys who wanna sound cool. And they don't wanna admit that they're blue pill, say, oh, I'm not blue pill. That's for betas and losers. No, no, I'm purple pill. But there is no such thing as purple pill. It's a binary thing. You're blue or you're red. You're having sex or you aren't, okay? You can't be kind of blue pill or kind of red pill. You're red or you're blue. It's kind of the same thing with sigma male. Sigma male means you are an alpha male. You're not a beta male who's a lone wolf, okay? That'd be a gamma male or an omega male. You are an alpha male who's a lone wolf. Now that means you are separate from the hierarchy of society, which is fine. In many respects, I am as well. But you're also making decent money and or you're getting laid. You're having a lot of sex with hot girls or at least that you're getting laid on a regular basis, okay? And we could argue about whether or not you can be monogamous or not. Let's leave that argument for another time. But at least you're having sex, you're getting laid. Because again, if you call yourself a Sigma male and I ask yourself, how often are you getting laid? And you, and you stumble and go, oh, whoa, 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 and it's been eight months, then you're not a Sigma male because in order to be a Sigma male, you have to have alpha male traits. And if you're not having sex, you don't have alpha male traits. I'll give you a corollary example to this. Uh, a while back on my Facebook group, and if you're interested, there's an alpha male 2 panel Facebook group. Um, it's open to anyone who wants to join. Uh, you can click the uh, description of the video or go to my YouTube videos and click the description there. You'll find it. We're up to like 12,000, 13,000 guys in the group. Not bad. And there was a guy on there talking about how he was MGTOW. I'm MGTOW. And, you know, MGTOW is the way to go. Not this alpha male tupados. MGTOW. I'm very, and I'm very happy being a MGTOW. It's great. And I said, yes, you can be a MGTOW. It's very similar to Sigma male. I said, you can be a MGTOW if you're getting laid and you're living life and you're making plenty of money, because there are some MGTOWs like this. There are some MGTOWs who get laid with women. They don't get married. They don't have serious girlfriends because that wouldn't be MGTOW then, right? They do get laid. They make a decent income. They live a good life. Great. Those MGTOWs are great. Then there's another flavor of MGTOW, which I call the angry MGTOWs who don't do any of that stuff. And I said, well, if you're getting laid plenty and you're living the MGTOW lifestyle, that's wonderful. He's like, well, you know, he started hemming high. Well, you know, sex isn't that important. I know what that means. Whenever someone says sex isn't that important. So I said, really, how often do you have sex? And he basically, after hemming and hawing, revealed he had sex a few times a year. Okay. Then you're not happy. Then that type of big tau is not a lifestyle you want to pursue. Because as I've talked about many times, the only way to be long-term happy as a man is you're having regular sex. You have you don't have to like that reality, but that is a reality. It's the way you're wired. I'm sorry, that's the way this works. That's why I did another video on YouTube called Monk Mode is Bullshit. Right, you can watch that video if you want. I'm not gonna go through that again. But you get my point. So there are men who self-identify as Sigma males who are actually not Sigma males. They're beta males, or if you like, gamma males or, or omega males who are online and trying to act cool. They're not. Now, there are men who call themselves Sigma males who actually are Sigma males. 
they're getting laid, they're alpha, right? They do well in life, they live a happy life, and they've removed themselves from the hierarchy of society. That's wonderful. As a matter of fact, in many cases, they may be alpha male 2.0s as well. Wonderful. But just be aware of when men self-label themselves, you have to ask some questions before you just assume that's what they are. I'm a Sigma male. Oh, you are? How often do you get laid? How much money do you make? Describe your lifestyle, okay? Just like when guys say, well, I'm a conservative. Really? Do you vote for guys who want big government? Do you vote for guys who want small? Do you vote for Pat Buchanan or do you vote for Donald Trump? These labels don't work very well. You have to ask some questions. <laughs> and that's another challenge with the term Sigma male. Now notice, I have no bias against the term Sigma male. I am a Sigma male. I match all those requirements. I don't give a shit about people think about me. I don't care about the hierarchy. Otherwise, I'd be you know, working for some big corporation and trying to climb the corporate ladder and, and become CEO so people could respect me or I would have gone to college so my dad would respect me. And that's alpha male 1.0 stuff. I don't care about any of those things. So I am a Sigma male. So obviously I have no problem with the term. I'm just explaining the difference and why I don't discuss this term. And that's basically it. Number one, I don't talk about it because it's complicated. I'm trying to brand myself here and build a business. Number two, a lot of guys who call themselves Sigma males are actually not Sigma males. Number three, there is a lot of overlap between Sigma male and Alpha male 2.0, provided that Sigma male is getting laid. And number four, there's nothing wrong with being a Sigma male, and there's nothing wrong with being an introvert, but you can be an extrovert and be an Alpha male 2.0. So in that respect, Alpha male 2.0 is a little more inclusive, although you have to be having sex on a regular basis for an Alpha male 2.0, so maybe that makes it more exclusive once again. If you have more questions on this in terms of why I don't use these terms or in terms of maybe how I should define these terms, or if you want me to go deeper into these types of men, I'm happy to do that if I get enough requests for it. So just let me know in the comments and I will see you in the next podcast. Have fun, bye.